Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program. Uh, so in this particular series, we will see uh, all about uh, REST API source systems uh, using the REST URLs, how we can able to call one pipeline from another pipeline or pipeline which is there in a data factory one to pipeline which is there in a data factory two and so many REST API related all the stuff we will be doing in this particular series. Let's get started. In this particular hands-on lab, we will see how to run pipeline of one ADF from another ADF, okay? So how we can able to do this particular thing, we can able to achieve it using the web activity by following exactly 12 steps in this Azure Data Factory. I'll explain what are those 12 steps, okay? Prerequisites for this hands-on if you see, so we needed two data factories. One is for project one ADF, another is for project two ADF. Let's imagine, you are working for some ex client they have uh, they are in the japan they are in latin america so there is a master data which is there in latin america which needs to be loaded into the cloud so due to some issue the data is not loaded so we can also have a dependency we can say where we can call that particular uh, pipeline which is there in the project 2 adf we can call it from the project 1 adf to load this particular master data these kind of requirements we will see in real time so in the once we create two data factories now within azure data factory first you need to use two activities so in the project one adf it, which is uh, our we will be calling the project two pipeline project two adf pipeline from the project one adf that's why i'll be using the web activity in the project one adf to call the pipeline in the project two adf and i'll be using the wait activity in the project two adf instead of using copy activity simply i'll use the wait activity next i will be creating a two pipelines to use these activities pl underscore web pipeline i'll create in the project one adf to use the web activity to call the project two adf pipeline then i'll be using the pl underscore wait pipeline to use the wait activity in the project two adf basically instead of copy activity i am using simply wait activity okay next permissions if you look at if pipeline one just uh, like project one ADF uh, send a request to, to run some pipeline in the project two ADF, project two simply cannot recognize, it will just ignore that particular request. That's why we need to have a permission where we need to add the project one ADF uh, should be added as a data factory contributor access in the project two ADF. So let's see how we can able to do. There are few steps that you need to follow. Step one is we will create a project one ADF. Step two, you will create a project to ADF. Step three, you will open project to ADF. Step four, you will create a pipeline. Step five is we will use the wait activity in the pipeline and then we will completely publish this particular pipeline. Next, sixth step is we will open the project one ADF and we will add the pipeline here also. Then we will be using the web activity to call the pipeline which is there in the ADF. Now, so to call to recognize the pipeline in the project to ADF, this is the pattern that you need to follow subscription ID, resource group name, data factory name, pipeline name, API version, all these things you need to take from the project to ADF. Remember, you need to take this particular details from the project to ADF. Once you have taken those details, you can use the project one ADF web activity to call that particular pipeline. So what happens if you call now is it will fail the attempt because it will fail. Why it will fail? Project one ADF will not be recognized in the project two ADF as you don't have the required permission. Now we can add the required permission as data factory contributor in the project two ADF. Okay, for the project one ADF, we will add it in the project two ADF. Then we also need to add some headers. I'll show you how to add it. Once that is done, the last attempt is success attempt. If you run the pipeline, definitely it is going to succeed. Let's not waste any more time. We will quickly jump into the portal, okay? Portal.azure.com. Okay, let's create a data factory. Search your data factory. Go to data factory. Create a data factory project one data factory so i'll be creating a resource group called cloud pandit iphone dev iphone rg click ok and this is i can say cloud pandit iphone dev iphone adf project one adf okay just click review plus create
create it. Okay, once this is done, go to the second step is go to portal again. We can create the second data factory. For creating second data factory, we can create it in the any region. So let's change the region. Maybe no need to be a same region. It can be also in the other region. Let's use the same resource group and I'll be putting a cloud pundit iPhone dev iPhone project to ADF and this I'll be taking into the something called central US or it's outside of the US also we can take maybe UK south we can go okay then click review plus create okay create it so step one and step two we have completed if you look at this step one and step two okay so step one is creation of the project one step two is creation of the project two ADF. we completed these two the step three is open the project to create a pipeline add the weight activity and publish it so these three steps will complete it quickly okay so in the project two if you come here this is a project to adf let's open this we need to do three more steps within this the step one is create a pipeline okay you are opening is the first step next step is basically you are going to the fourth step is you will create a pipeline see fourth step i am creating the pipeline fifth step is basically i will be using the weight activity okay just put the weight activity here for let's put weight activity with the, some 45 seconds and this particular pipeline we need to call it as a pl underscore what happened one second i think so weight activity is gone let me see okay weight activity is gone just put the weight activity once again so this weight activity is 45 seconds you can put okay so fifth step once 45 seconds you put you just publish it okay so total five steps are completed if you look at so open the project to adf you added pipeline you added the weight activity and publish now sixth step is open project one adf add a pipeline use the web activity okay let's do these steps come here so project one adf launch azure data factory studio of the project one adf i'm opening okay now go to pipeline so next step is create a pipeline and then this pipeline you can call it as a pl underscore web activity okay so what i need to do here i need to use the web activity so drag the web activity okay so i drag the web activity so next step is uh, so total eight steps are completed ninth step is we need to grade the project to adf related all the data factory name pipeline name api version resource group all that information we need to get so how to get that information let me tell you so this particular url okay so this particular url has the total four parts in it the first part is management.azure.com it is basically um, like manage url and then within that we need to provide the required subscription ids and all those things then which pipeline you need to run from this subscription this resource group this data factory which pipeline you need to run which version of the api we need to get it so how to get all of these things this is a fixed one it won't change part one part two it will change i'll tell you how to get it from the data factory two if you go to data factory two here okay in the overview page if you see json view click on this so you can see your resource id right copy this resource id okay that is the step two you got already everything is filled now step three is basically you know which pipeline you want to run pl underscore weight activity right sorry pl underscore weight pipeline this is the pipeline just prepare the pipeline next api version 2018-61 if you see there are two versions of the api but current version is 2018-601 this is the version that you can able to use okay so meaning this is also not changing first one also not changing uh, middle two only changing once these four parts are ready just prepare them like this you just add them everything very carefully observe when you are adding so this pipeline you need to add two slashes anywhere if it is comes there is a problem see you need to add this one bring this and put this one okay slash you can just take this pipeline name 
put the slash and put this one and then you need to use this particular part four okay i just formed the url take this particular url ninth step is little time it will take settings you put this whenever you are calling this particular method uh, url remember we need to use a method called post whenever you use the post it required a body okay so as we are not passing any body you can just put the empty body now let's try to debug so if you try to debug what will happen what will happen if you run the pipeline now so pipeline is failed with the some authorization error if you check it okay authorization failed the authorization header is missing okay so we need to add that header how to add that header so that the attempt is 10th attempt is failed the next attempt is we need to add project 1 adf in the project 2 adf with the, some headers so how to do that entire thing i'll show you now quickly so very simple that is what you need to do you take the project 1 adf name go to project 2 here you go to your uh, access control iam click add add role assignment okay data factory you search here data factory if you search we will see the roles are not coming right do one thing you search your data factory why there is no role is coming see data factory contributor so i don't know why it was not coming but you can see it is taking some time to come okay data factory contributor in the job function role click next select member you put this particular project one adf name and select that click select click review plus assign click review plus assign once this is completed what you need to do now come to your pipeline in the web activity you need to set the authorization authorization which authorization we are using system assigned managed identity we added the adf1 in the adf2 it will manage that identity it can able to recognize okay adf1 is known okay it has the required permissions okay resource name what is the name you need to use is here part one whatever is there take this part one you need to put it here okay once you kept like this now you do a success attempt this time 100 percent it is going to be successful oh it is failed i think this is slash is not required debug this we will see again it failed so the failure can be let's see first why it is failing right pl underscore wait run id a pl underscore wait is not found it is saying what is the name of the pipeline we saved see we found so the somehow the changes of the pipeline was not made okay you need to take care of those things okay so the somehow the pipeline of the name was not saved properly now when you look at the error message you need to understand okay so earlier we have a one error but this time uh, so we have a error it is clearly stating the pi pl underscore weight was not able to find it is going to call that pipeline but pipeline is not able to find okay so we fixed the error now debug this so you also learned now how we can able to fix the error in case if at all any errors occurred see now it is successfully executed if you have given all the details correctly now if you go go to monitor tab and refresh this now you should be able to see okay so you see go inside this pipeline you are seeing the weight activity is running okay weight activity is running so this act, weight activity will run for how much time 45 seconds because we have used 45 seconds is the timeout we have used that's why it will run for the 45 seconds now currently how much time it took 32 seconds in the next 15 seconds it is going to complete it okay it will complete in the next four or five seconds yeah so now you see it should be successful the pipeline status you can see green mark here it is succeeded
okay so this particular pipeline status if you refresh here and see this pipeline status is succeeded inside this pipeline if you see the weight activity weight activity status also succeeded okay so whatever we learned let's quickly go through the quiz questions so success yes, uh, success attempt also be completed now quiz questions what is the purpose of using web activity in azure data factory to perform data transmission data transformation to schedule pipeline to call external web services the answer c is correct to call the external web services in azure data factory which activity is used to call a pipeline in another data factory which activity we have used to call web activity answer c is correct when using a web activity to call a pipeline in another data factory what type of http request is typically used get post delete and put the method is post method the answer b is correct what is the correct format of specifying the url of a pipeline in another data factory using a web activity data factory slash data factory name slash pipeline slash pipe name so the answer a is correct we need to use that format okay next in azure data factory which of the following component must be set up to securely connect to another data factory pipeline using a web activity what we need to set up azure active directory authentication we must have to set up to recognize the data factory to uh, from the data factory one request okay next the answer b is correct next which of the following scenario is typically use uh, case, use case for calling a pipeline in another data factory using a web activity what is the use case for this kind of requirements is triggering a remote pipeline for data integration the answer d is correct triggering a remote pipeline for data integration okay so thank you all for watching my videos and i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and encourage me to do more videos thank you all thank you if you have any questions put your questions in the comment section i'll respond for all of your questions